You want to know what real life nursing is all about? This is the Daily Round Show by NRSNG.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's Susan with NRSNG. I was going to talk to you a little bit today about 12 lead EKGs. For starters, we had a question about the difference between ECG and an EKG. KG. So there isn't a difference. It means the exact same thing. The only thing is that the cardio part for electrocardiogram is spelt with a C or a K and it's an old English version spelling cardio. So EKG and ECG mean the exact same thing. Now, as far as lead placement and recognizing an ST elevated MI or a STEMI, you can have a STEMI in different areas of your left ventricle. So if you have an ST elevation in leads 1 and AVL, you're having a lateral MI. If you have a ST elevation in leads 2, 3, and AVF, you're having an inferior wall MI. If you have a ST elevation in leads V1 and V2, you are having a septal MI. If you are having an ST elevation in leads 3, V3 and V4, you are having an anterior wall MI. And lastly, if you have ST elevation in leads um, V5 and V6, you're having a lower lateral wall MI. Now, what's the connection between those and what arteries run there. So for your lateral wall, it is your left circumflex artery or your diagonal branch of your left anterior descending. If it is your inferior wall or posterior wall, it is your right coronary artery or your left circumflex artery. If it is your septal wall, it is your left anterior descending, and it's the same for if it's your anterior wall, also your left anterior descending. Now, the two that I had um, described, your lateral wall, you have a lateral wall and then the lower lateral wall. Um, that's the difference between just lateral wall on the upper end of the ventricle versus lower lateral end of the ventricle. So those are the same thing. It's both left circumflex and um, diagonal branch of the uh, left anterior descending. So one more thing I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about um, so that you can be one step ahead of all your schoolmates or, you know, just so you can be an awesome kick-ass nurse is that if you have in leads 2, 3, and AVF, that means inferior wall MI, you do not want to give your patient nitro because it will bottom out their pressure. Now, some people call this a posterior wall MI. Posterior and inferior, um, they're directional terms. It means the exact same thing. It's the back end of your ventricle. And again, no nitroglycerin whatsoever, no sublingual nitroglycerin for a inferior wall MI. And then lastly, I wanted to talk to you about, I, I tried to do it in a specific order. It's the way that you read your EKG. Uh, it's, you know, the top, you go top to bottom and then left to right on the way that I had explained it to you. And there's a mnemonic that helps you remember it. It's called Lisa Low, L for lateral, I for inferior, S for septal, A for anterior, and low for lower lateral. And if you remember that, you can um, remember to look through the different leads and which one of that it correlates to. I hope that answers your questions on 12 lead EKGs and the lead placements in correlation with what wall and what artery that it is that it's affecting. All right. Thanks, guys.